What's up guys? I'm expecting that you probably saw the short I posted how to make an Alabama rig in a day. I'm going to show you. So this is just some wire I have, but the best will be like 55 pound wire. You can buy it like Walmart. And what you're gonna wanna do is these are some wire strippers, but I'm got some wire cutters on them. You can take the length that you want. And you're just gonna cut it with your wire cutters. This time I don't want to cut it, but you just cut it. And there, you have one. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but with another one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this other wire and kind of measure it out some. So that should be about right. And now you have two. So what you're gonna do? I don't wanna fix that in, but what you're gonna wanna do is take both ends. You're gonna find the middle. For instance, that's the middle. So you're gonna that, do it to the exact do the exact same thing to the other one. Find the middle. All right, there. So now what you're gonna do is get a pair, a uh, pair of vice grips. Leaves. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line these up. Take a pair of vice grips. You're gonna just clamp them together. For me, it's sometimes hard to perfectly clamp them, so it takes a couple tries, so don't be scared if you don't get it first try. Dang, it's hard to push now. Push that down. And what I got right here is just like a little drill bit, and you're just going to twist this in where these holes are. Just twist as much as you want so let's see that should be about good you're gonna take your butt you're gonna take it out of your vice grips and that's what it should look like and you're gonna take and fix this uh, little eye Make sure your eye is like straight. Then you're gonna take these little prongs and just make it. I right, see you should have about four prongs. I have four. There you go. Next, what you're gonna need are some of these barrel swivels. I just have some little bitty ones I found in my dad's. Uh, tackle box, but you can buy them from Walmart, Academy, Dick's, pretty much anywhere that sells fishing gear. These are just some eagle claw. And then now that you have your barrel silver on there, you're going to want to take this and you're going to want to bend it. Where there's like a little bitty hook where that barrel swivel can still get up in there. And then you're going to want to press down and crimp pretty much the wire so the barrel swivel can't get out. It looks up a little bit like that. Make sure your crimp is good because if not, the barrel swivel could just come off. So always make your crimp on there good. And then I'm gonna do it. You just do the exact same thing. Also make sure your wires are straight for a fact. Because if you don't, they'll mess up. You're just gonna do the exact same thing. The other four. Just take it, bend it. Put your barrel swivel up there, and then you want to crimp it. 
I usually do both hands just to make sure I got the crimp on there real well. But I hope this video will help you guys learn how to do it. So, I just thought it'd be a fun little video to make. Also, like and subscribe because we're trying to get to 100 before well I'd like to at least get to 100 before the end of the year but if we could get 100 by like either the end of this month that'd be like insane so uh, I really hope y'all I know y'all can do it I mean like I see my video views I see they'll get thousands of views but only gain like three subs from them. But still, that's nothing to blame on y'all. You can subscribe and you can unsubscribe later. You can do whatever. You don't have to subscribe. I just want to see if we can get to 100 subs by the end of the month. And if we can do it, I might have a little special video I'll do. But you'll have to find out. So, now that you put all of your barrel swivels on, that I should have these little tiny, like, I don't know what those are called. A gold carabiner things, and you can hook on any bait you want. I have on some soft plastic swim baits, which I don't have any weights. I just have normal bass hooks, or J hooks, whatever you want to call them. But that will be the end of today's video, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.